but when you're hitting the ball like that, you're playing most bowling pretty comfortably. Look at this shot. You won't see a better shot than that. Well, he's confident. He's a very naturally skilled and talented player. Um, he's not complicating things. He's standing still at the crease. And um, when you combine all those things together, um, he's just hitting the ball as well as anyone's probably hit the ball in the history of this tournament. That's, you know, if that's an overseas import or a David Warner or whoever it might be. Sean Marsh has obviously had some good tournaments before, but I'm not sure we've seen anyone dominate quite like Darcy Short has, especially in, in the back half. I think we saw glimpses of it last year. Early in the season last year, we saw glimpses of his ball striking ability, but he probably hadn't quite worked his game out. Darcy Short, his first ball in T20 cricket, big bash cricket. Short! Big start to the match, goes high over mid-wicket. Well, they told us in the warm-up that this man can hit a big ball, and he's proved that. I think he understands the game more now, he understands his own game more now. Well, what about that shot there? That was absolutely timed to perfection. On the up, wasn't a half volley by any stretch of imagination, but just look at how well he moves into the ball here, Darcy Short. Not a lot of feet movement, but his head still, his hands and his bat swinger. Absolutely perfect. Look, he's a pretty complete package. He got through three overs tonight as well, one for 24. He's a good fielder. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure all the Australian selectors are talking about him right now. It's a, it's a pretty hard game to be consistently good at, T20 cricket. You know, you, at, at the top of the order, you've got to go out and play shots early on. Sometimes you've got to take some risks. So what he's been able to do is score quickly, but eliminate a lot of the risks. Um, so what's he done now? 97, 96, 40-odd, 120. 50 odd tonight. Um, that's a pretty consistent uh, group of performances, and, and no uh, coincidence that his team have won, you know, five games in a row as well on, on the back of those performances. But if he keeps bowling length balls like that, he will just stand up on top of the bounce and punch it through the offside. Especially in this power play, yeah. all they should be thinking about is getting Darcy <laughs> Short off strike. Yep, for a big payday in the IPL auction later this month. Yeah, I reckon he will be. Well, I mean, whatever he whatever he goes for will be a big payday for him. Um, he's probably put himself into the into the auction at at base price, which looking back now, he probably wishes he had to put himself in a little bit more. But look, his base price shouldn't matter. He, he'll go for for big money or decent money, I'd imagine. Um, and there'll be um, you know more than one team looking at him, I'm sure, because you look around this big bash, you've got Stephen Fleming, Brad Hodge, um, myself, Dan Vittori. Um, a lot of guys that are actually head coaches in the IPL and they've seen him up close you know, for the last few weeks, so he'll fetch a good price. Oh, that's a great shot. Shot of the night, nearly. On the up, straight over the umpire's head. Really good shot, so a bit of pressure release there. A bit of talk um, on the commentary about his similarities to Warner and the way he's kind of announced himself in the T20 format. Do you see those same similarities? Absolutely, yeah. Um, not just the fact that he's announcing himself in the T20 format, it's more about how he bats, how, stand he, uh, how still he stands and how clean he hits the ball. I mean, he's, you look at him even tonight, you know, he just doesn't look like he's taking risks. Yes, he's hitting the ball down the ground, but he's hitting the ball hard down the ground, he's keeping the shapes really well and he's just not miss hitting too many. Oh, that's gloriously played by Short. There's two men out there and he just whacks it straight into the gap. And that is a third Big Bash 50 this season to Darcy Short to go with 100 as well. He's having a wonderful tournament.